Weirdo Benjo. Hello there everyone and welcome to The Last Clockwinder. This is a brand new Quest 2 puzzle game and I've been really excited to check this out um, ever since I saw the first trailer. In this game, the unique selling point, the unique mechanic, is that you work alongside a whole team of clones to solve puzzles. But the trick is, you also control all the clones. So, I am the team, I am the workforce, I am the squad today, I'm everybody. It's me, myself and I trying to solve these puzzles. Typically there's no I in team, but today there is an I in team, so it spells Time, time, I'm not sure what it spells, we'll work on that, we'll figure it out. But I'm going to work with clones of myself to solve these puzzles. The game looks gorgeous, um, it's already got a very relaxing piano riff playing here in the menu screen. I think it's going to be a wonderful, magical experience, and I'm excited to check it out. Let's just jump straight in to the last clockwinder. Ooh, here we go. Oh, it's lovely looking. There's a phone ringing. Uh, can I go here? Uh, press. Hello. Hello. Loud and clear, Levi. Radio set and working. Good, good. How's the clock tower? Well, Don't know yet. Yeah. You wouldn't know it was sinking. Yeah, well, it is. Scans show water's rising inside the trunk. We got here just in time. Shut up. Okay, so welcome to the last Clockwinder. Now it does look like it's just snap turn and just teleport. I can't see anything in the menus that indicates that I can change to a smooth movement system, which is a bit of a shame. I am a sucker for smooth movement. Um, do we grab this? Yeah, we can grab the door. We're going inside. Let's go and touch these levers. Ah! Scary! Pull that. Oh, okay. Pull that down to there. Pull that down to there. Oh, I need another per. Oh, I need clones, don't I? Already I need bloody clones. Okay, let's maybe go to this glowing thing over here. Put that in there? Hello? Who are you? Um. It's giving me another one. What? <laughs> Is that your job? Do you just continue? Can I Should I take that? Should I replace it with the. This one's blue. Oh! And now he wants... Do you want this? Okay, so he's going to pass me that. Give me, give me, give me. Thank you. Right, what, what do I do with it, though? Should I try this in here? Yeah, that's done it. Hello, mate. Oh, he's pulling the thing. Oh! Okay. Very interesting. Don't pull it. Your job's done, mate. Just go away. Don't leave the lever alone. Don't press it again. Don't pull it again. Why are you doing this? Roger Roger. Looks very much like one of the Roger Roger uh, robots from Star Wars. That's what I know them as. Don't know their real name. Roger Roger. Uh, grab the hands. Ooh. Got some gloves on now. Press to start recording. What? Da, 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 da. Okay, now what happens? What? <laughs> <laughs> so I've recorded a robot that basically does nothing. Can I make another one? Woo, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's yes, I can make a rave. This is amazing. Okay, right, we we'll stick another one here. Yeah, that's it. Oh, oh! Can I have another? Can I have one over here that's kind of flossing? Can I like? I don't really know how to floss, but like, I'm gonna try. Yeah, is that gonna work? <laughs> Look at that terrible floss! What an amazing concept! Look at all my little clone friends getting down, boogieing. Ah, oh, he's dead. He's gone. Oh no, he's dead. Never to be seen again. Right, you as well. You're dead. And you're dead as well. We create a clone here. Press A. And the clone just pulls this down. That's it. That's the whole job. And then I can synchronize a clone here to pull this one down. Oh, I love a unique concept. 
Right, so again, there's two clones now. And they're both pulling these down. <laughs> oh, it's so good. And again. I think I've done it. Look. I've created a little family of robots. And they all have their part to play. Whoa, I love a unique concept in any game. Oh, whether it's VR or not, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. I can already tell this is going to be my kind of game. Um, but what I will say as well is that this kind of game typically never gets, in my opinion, the exposure I think they deserve from things like, um, you know, the, the Quest Store. People don't tend to go for them because they're not kind of bombastic and frantic and shooty and filled with zombies. But I think these are really special, these kind of games. Okay, what are we doing here? What's this? Study. Oh! Plug that back in. Can I plug that in other places? Uh, oh, are these, are these levels? Can I plug it in here? No. I think I only have one level to interact with. I can only assume this is the levels. Okay, so I found this which I think is a seed for a plant, and I feel like it should be able to go in that slot. It bloody did. Oh. Blusher garden. So I can do that, plug it into there, and go. Whoa! Oh, oh heck yeah. I think the whole concept of this game... I miss this place. Nice. Is growing crops. I think the whole point of it is got, got quite a um, kind of a bit of a nature message and kind of a preservation message. Um, I think the whole point of running this this clock tower is um, there's a big. It's inside a big tree, and you need to keep it running to kind of keep the plants growing and stop the tree from dying. I think is the, is the core concept of the game. Uh, right. So what am I doing here? I'm growing something. I think produce at least 15 fruit per minute using at most two clones 90 fruit per minute with five clones 210 fruit per minute with eight clones these grow fast ah oh, they're gone <laughs> okay i think i need to get them hold on i think i need to get them into that bucket thing there like if i grab that and put that there one two three so i could just keep doing this right but it's it's not very fast or effective. If I plant that there... Okay, hold on, hold on. Right, if I... Hold on, hold on. If I create a clone, record, who grabs and throws into there. That's his whole job. Will he just start doing that now? Okay, we have a clone. He's picking. He's throwing. So then we need another clone here doing the same thing. Record, pick in, throw in. Pick in, throw in. Okay. Now those two are collecting fruit. He's faster than that one. I think that one only gets one in the same time he gets two. So let's delete him. You're too slow, I'm sorry. You didn't you didn't make the cut. You know, thank you very much. Uh, let's try again. Let's do it faster. Record, grab, throw. Grab, throw. So that's two. Right, so they're both cracking on now. So what is, has that accomplished? Right, that's getting me the 15 fruit per minute using two clones. Now I've planted this here. Can I grab throw like that, right? And then go over here and record catch. Look at that. I've done it. He throws to me. He throws... <gasps> That's still not good enough, though. That's still not good enough. I need more seeds because I need to... <laughs> I need to get it up to 90 fruit per minute. With five clones. Holy crap! This is smart. Okay. Where are there more seeds? Surely there's more seeds laying around, right? That I can use to plant more plants. What's that doing? What's that doing? <laughs> Should I create a clone here doing this? Okay, I'll create a clone now. Is he doing it? 
<laughs> he is doing it. <laughs> okay. I'm quite confused about exactly what I'm supposed to do, but I'm absolutely loving this. Ah, is that a seed machine? Hello? Oh, I think that's all I needed to progress the level. I think these are optional objectives. Because I think I only actually needed to harvest 25 fruit to get out there to pick this up to progress the story. But if I wanted to set this room up differently and try it again, I could create a completely different layout with clones to achieve 210 fruit per minute. So I think these are optional objectives. Storage locker, 15. Should we go into... Oh, so this is what I need to progress to these next levels. Okay, I think, I think I've got enough. So, yeah, I've got 400. Oh, it's going up all the time, 400. So I can go here. It'll cost me 15? 15 juice spent to go there. Okay, so I've unlocked that now. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting to grips with it. Getting to grips with it. What is this? Open seed bag. What button? What button? Nope. Nope. Ah! Seed bag. Okay. Right, so I can tell... Ah! I like how hands-off this game is. It's not giving me any information really at all. And I do prefer to play games that way. Um, okay, so I've got three, three more seeds. So I can go back now to that main level and use those, I assume, to produce much more... Yeah, No! Much more juice per minute. Okay, are we ready? Go. That one. Huh. Grab. Huh. Wait, is that only one going in? Did the other one miss? That goes in. That does go in, I think. Okay, it looks like it didn't go in, but it does go in, I think. The flap moves. Okay, let's get another one here. Um, it's going to be a tough throw, but I think I can make it. Go. Huh. Yep. Huh. Both of those went in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, it's all coming together. Okay, so we're not quite at 210 per minute. We're at 135 fruit per minute. We've got seven clones. So we're reaching... We're reaching the crunch point. Um, Look at my minions! Look at my minions! That I've created. They do actually look a bit like minions as well. They have that kind of yellowy colour to them. And they've got the blue. Maybe they're just minions. They've even got goggles. Oh god, I hate minions. Oh no! But this is amazing. This is amazing. So these are all my clones. I've set them all up to harvest. And uh, they're going. 165 fruit per minute. So not not quite good enough to get the 210 on the final objective. But still pretty damn good. New leveling coming. Up we come, up we come, up we come. What is that? Well, that wants like, a, like 2,000 juice or something. I don't have that yet. Um, new level there, though. Can I juice what I've got? Damn, I know I can't, okay. Right, that's fine, because we've got some more levels. Got one there. Can I put that in the seed bag? No. Okay, that's fine. Making seeds. Purchase seeds using seed fragments by using these stations. Okay, what does that mean? Do I have any seed fragments? No. Notes on seed fragments. Make a molecule. Put it in the press. Onion, 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 with some attaching things. Right. Uh-huh. Right. 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 Is that a molecule? Um. Oh. Oh! Was that seeds I was supposed to catch? Because they're definitely gone now. I'm going to need to use clones. Maybe if I create a clone who just opens and closes the press. Open. Closed. So he'll just keep opening and closing that now, right? Open. Closed. Okay, that's good enough for me. Fire in the hole. Huh. Give it to me, give it to me. Easy. Right, we've got a system going now. We only need one more, and I can get another seed, and then we can really start to get a little bit of a chain going. Okay, I can have one of these. Fantastic. Right, so where do I want that? I want that there, really. Okay. 
So, how do I make it so the robots make this thing adequately? Maybe bang, 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 and then pass it, and then the other one takes it, finishes it, throws it. Yeah, maybe. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. Okay, logic. You really have to use your brain here. Grab, bang, and then that, and then pass it, like that. Okay, and let's finish this one because we've got it going. We may as well. We may as well. Right. Finish this one. Put that in there. Give me some goodies. Yep, yep, thank you. Drop them in there. Okay, so that one's making this thing and then handing it. So I need to be here ready to take it. Okay, I think I have a system here. So that one does that, that. I start recording. Do that, do that. Throw it into the machine. That's working, and now I need one here that's catching these seeds. That's it, I think, that's it, I think that's it, I think that's it. Yes! Holy hell! This is actually really difficult, and I'm using kind of certain ways of thinking that I haven't used in a game in a long time. Like, it's forcing me to really think about how I play, where I position, and what exactly I'm doing. Look at it, it's intricate. That one creates half of the molecule, pass it over to that one, that one finishes it, throws it into the machine, that one slams it down, Th these, uh, and that goes into there. It's That's amazing! One more here, with that, that, and then throw it there. Catch! Ding! Ding! Throw! Yes! No! Did that work? It does, but now I need two dudes there. God, this is intricate. God, this is intricate. Yes! This might be my favourite Quest 2 game so far this year. It's so intricate. It's so clever. This is some of my favourite puzzling mechanics since Portal, I think. It feels so unique and fresh. I've created this crazy factory line of actions, and I've acted all of these actions out and brought them together into this kind of perfect harmony. I've, I've done all the objectives. This is the best one I've, I've set up so far. But everything here works together. So these two are working together to create one molecule. He throws it in there, he slams it down. These two at the back are doing the same. So he creates half, throws it over, he catches it, he finishes it, lobs it all the way from there into the press. These two then catch the seeds in tandem and put them into the machine. This is phenomenal. This is only the second room. The second room I've done. It's just wonderful. Okay, I think I've smashed that room, right? Okay, yeah, I've unlocked the central pump thing. Let's go back and do that. Okay, we've got plenty. We can do this. 2,000, let's go. Oh. It's a picture of like a Blackberry on it or something. Oh. Oh, blackcurrant juice. It's like Ribena. Oh, it's like a, okay. So this is going to harvest something. So let's create a, let's create a dude here straight away that just does this. He just runs that. He just runs that. Okay. I think I need to find the blackberry to bring back here, plant there, and then be throwing that in constantly, constantly, constantly. And that will fill the juicer at the top there because that's going to be crushing it. So we need to create a line of characters to catch that. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Oh, it blows up quickly, doesn't it? That does not last long. How do we keep that from... Oh, we have to go quick. Okay, so... Throw it there. Go. Can I get it in the thing from here? Oh, I probably can. I pro no, I'm deleting you. I'm deleting you. I probably can get it in the thing from here. Yes! Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, so I've got a line now of just three of them, I think. Goes there, there, from there, into there. And he's just pumping away. So it's not going to make a crazy amount of them. How do we get the seeds for this? What do you suppose this button does, eh? Oh! Hold the cloning button to change the length of your clone. Oh, I've got an upgrade! Oh! <gasps> One second, two second, four seconds! That's really interesting. Because now I could technically go back and... 
become more efficient because with a four second clone I could create a whole molecule with one clone rather than needing two so I could do the grab stick grab stick grab throw that's interesting okay I'm probably gonna leave it here um, I'm absolutely loving this game it is very slow paced though and I think I just wanted to show the overall gameplay mechanics in this video so you get a feel for what this this game is it is a very intricate puzzle game that kind of gives you all the tools to solve these puzzles in whatever way you see fit. Now the molecule here is very different for the bomb berries. You need one bomb in the middle and then attached to three of the other seeds. So I'm going to have to plant some of those. Um, so we're going to plant one there and we'll plant one there and then maybe... Think about how I'm going to do this. I'm going to grab that, throw it to someone over there. They're going to stick it, throw it back, stick it, throw it on. I think that's what I'm going to do. Throws it to one of these. They stick it again. They throw it back. They throw it out. This is a lot of clones all of a sudden. 11 clones. Yeah, this is a lot of clones. Okay, so we record. Grab, throw. Okay. can't grab the bomb, you have to grab that bit and then to there. Oh, what a shot! Yes! Holy shit, God, that is a tough one. That is a tough one, I've got 30 per minute. I've got more than 7 clones, but I do not care. That was so intricate. This game is insane. I love this game. I could play this all day. I will play this all day. I'm not going to record all day, but I could play this all day. Look how intricate this is. This dude picks it. Throws it to this one. He throws it to that one. Staples it. To there. Into there. To him. To there. To there. Catches it. There. Over. To this guy. He does that. Into the press. Seeds come out. Catch, catch. Into the bin. This is the last clock winder, and I absolutely love it. I'm going to say this right now. This is an essential quest to purchase for anyone. Anyone. Not just people who are fans of puzzle games. Anyone who enjoys the quest. Anyone who enjoys VR. Anyone who enjoys puzzle games, whether they're flat or not. I absolutely adore this game, and I really do hope more people come and check this out and play it and buy it and, in and just have a great time. This is such a great concept, it's running amazingly considering the capture of all these characters that I'm creating as I go. And I can even create little supporters on the sidelines that just do stuff like this. You know, you know, I can just create some that sit here and just cheer on their friends. And that's fine, it doesn't matter. They don't serve a purpose, but they're here having a good time. This game is wonderful, it's seriously wonderful. I can't get over how much I love it. Please go and check out The Last Clockwinder, and if you do check it out, please leave a review on the store. In my opinion, these kind of more arty games, puzzle games, cutesy games, do get squashed under the algorithm of constant shooting and blowing things up and killing. You know, I, I enjoy those games too, but I think these games need exposure, and when a team comes along and makes something as wonderful and creative and unique as this, I want it to thrive. So if you do pick it up, please do leave a review, show you support to the guys and the gals and everybody who made this over on Twitter and just yeah I, I love this I think it's fantastic and um, I highly recommend it I hope you've enjoyed this video today if you have please do leave a like leave a comment and hit subscribe and I'll see you very very soon for another one take care guys look at that guy up there he's having a great look at him go he's living his best life I'll see you very soon for another one take care guys see you later